Hey all, so we just had this very funny discussion actually, um, me and Mr. E. Uh, we were talking about rights because rights versus privileges because one of my friends, uh, who has a PhD by the way, my friends, you know, like they are in high places. But anyway, so we were discussing one time about whether rights are God given or are societal given my argument was that they are societal given because society can take them away if something is god given it should always be yours and only death which is natural death should take it away so to say that rights are god given but to only take them away when the society feels like to me proves that they are just granted by society you look at the right to vote for instance black people had to demand the right to vote uh, why because the people who made the laws at the time didn't think that they were you know like they were um deserving of those rights you look at today with felons uh when someone goes to jail um they their rights at least are suspended. I think in some cases they can be taken away forever, which goes against the whole idea of things being God given and the whole idea of I've served my time into, you know, like society takes things and gives them back to you whenever it feels like. And I just was thinking about that. So the funny part is Mr. E said, if voting for instance was a right, then we should allow two-year-olds to vote because guess what? As long as they are alive, they have those rights. And he said that they would identify more. They would be saying, I'm voting for Donald Trump <laughs> because they will identify more with him uh, as, you know, as a <laughs> small. <laughs> uh, so, but anyway, we were just laughing about that, but... Honestly, think about it. If something is God-given, why should a man take it away? And secondly, in a, in a system where, you know, like you can vote, you can, um, you can do a lot of things that are considered rights. If you put people in jail, you can literally just take their rights away, which is an incentive. If you don't want a certain segment of society to have those rights, you can come up with laws and say, if you've been to jail or if you've been convicted, you can lose those rights. So they're not rights. In fact, I'm for restoring rights of people who are prisoners. People should be able to vote. At least after they come out, immediately their rights should be restored. Uh, if we, you know, like we believe that they are God-given right, if we feel like they are just a privilege, a privilege is something that, you know, society grants, grants you based on, I guess, the majority of, you know, like the society, what the society wants, like, you know, the right to marry, the right to do things. Um, no, not a right, but a privilege to marry, a privilege to do a lot of things. And we're saying that if those things are not human rights uh, and they are privileges, then it's totally fine for them being taken away. But when it comes to right, we can have it both ways. We can say that they're God-given and also say that they are, you know, like uh, you don't deserve them but anyway hopefully i didn't go too long what do you think let me know comment below don't forget to like subscribe do whatever and again this was an ad lib didn't think it true i just thought i should share you because honestly when he said they would vote for donald trump two years old would vote for donald trump i thought that was hilarious 